Why do I think this way about myself? Was it something my parents used to say when I was growing up? Was it because they used to compare me with this other kid that used to do so well in school? Was it because my classmates used to insult me and call me certain names because they, didn't, they knew I couldn't stand up for myself? Was it because anytime I tried to talk in a gathering of people, someone would shut me down and so I have been so scared to come out and talk publicly because I feel like I'm going to say nonsense? Growing up, I would say I had a mask on that made me look like I was very confident and made me look like I had high self-esteem and just made me look like I loved myself so much, I was confident in my skin and all of that. But behind that mask, I would say there was a girl who wasn't so confident of herself, a girl who had so much self-esteem issues, a girl who didn't think she could do so many things. Or didn't just trust in her ability to be able to deliver and so outside i would be there hyping myself feeling like or acting like a boss but when i would get inside i would cry i would compare myself so much i would talk down on myself i would just feel like a complete mess to be honest and many of these things stemmed from what i had heard people say about me comparisons i had made between myself and other people and just things that i had perceived to be but they were not and i just feel like there are one or two persons watching me who are feeling the way i have felt who are not so confident in themselves who have self-esteem issues maybe maybe stemming from comparisons their parents made when they were small or just insults their parents piled on their head or just things they had seen that just made them feel the way they feel about themselves and this is why I am doing today's video to just encourage one or two people and just help one or two people with ways in which this self-esteem and this confidence can be built back. Now I would not say I am 100% there yet because there are one or two times when I still feel that way and I still have to talk myself out of that situation but there are a few things I know that I can share with you that would help you out. So if this video is for you then keep on watching. One of the things I would say that would really increase your self-esteem drastically is to stop comparing yourself with people. Now I know that you have heard this thousand and one times, a thousand and one times, but it's this, it is the truth to be honest, right? And the thing is, I'm saying this, I can say this because I am one who compares myself a lot. Take it from me, God. <sighs> a lot and one thing i've come to understand about comparison is the fact that many times we compare our inside with the outside of other people so now you are comparing yourself with who you can see on the outside you don't know those people inside you don't know what they are suffering from you don't know how they feel about themselves on the inside you don't know anything you are just comparing yourself with the image that you are seeing on the outside right and because of that comparison you can feel like oh you're not doing so much you, are, you can feel like oh see your mate doing better things blah 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 ish so now i will not say that those comparisons will not come they will pop up one or two times or maybe even often but when they do as much as possible try to remind yourself that first of all you cannot see the inside of that person second of all both of you are on two different journeys right god has made you perfect and you are not on the same journey with that particular person so and on this journey there are processes there will be highs and there will be lows and as much as those things are going to happen you are who you are and that person is who they are so do try try as much as possible to not compare yourself when those thoughts begin to come and try to also cut off whatever thing that instigates or increases the comparisons like if it is that you have to stop following the person if it's that you have just do whatever you can to keep you sane right the second thing i will say that can help you with this one i practically notice it about myself and it's the fact that do things that make you feel good so for instance if you are not so confident in your body go to the gym work out do something see our I said I go to the gym at the point, even though I currently do not go to the gym. I, and I really want to resume going back to the gym, but that's not the point. I realized that when I was going to the gym, I felt more confident, even though I had not started seeing the results. I mean, but just the act of standing up, 
going to the gym being productive seeing that i was actually taking steps to be a better person just made me feel good about myself right and it just it just made my self-esteem better to be honest right so do whatever thing that would make you feel good about yourself it could be write letters to yourself it could be sing whatever it is that would make you feel better about yourself just try to do those things so that as much as possible you feel good and as much as possible you don't look down on yourself the third thing i'll say is to reevaluate the way you think about yourself so and many times when we're feeling low or we're feeling down the thoughts we think about ourselves the things we say to ourselves they are not good they are not good they can be better right so if it gets to the point of actually having a list and writing out the things the negative things you think about yourself please do and then when you write out those negative things that you think about yourself ask yourself why you think that way about yourself why do i think i don't look good why do i think i have a big nose why do i think i'm too fat is it because somebody said so many times the reason why we think those negative thoughts about ourselves honestly is because somebody told us those lies were said over and over and over about ourselves that we begin to think that way about ourselves naturally so i think it is very important to evaluate the thoughts you think about yourself like and this exercise has to be done truthfully don't lie to yourself honestly what do i think about myself the negative things that tend to pop up in my mind about myself why do i think this way about myself was it something my parents used to say when i was growing up was it because they used to compare me with this other kid that used to do so well in school was it because my classmates used to insult me and call me certain names because they didn't they knew i couldn't stand up for myself was it because anytime I tried to talk in a gathering of people, someone would shut me down and so I have been so scared to come out and talk publicly because I feel like I'm going to say nonsense? What are the negative things you think about yourself? Write them out and ask yourself why you think that way about yourself. When you know the foundation of all of those things, I think it, is, it becomes way easier to work on those things. For example, when I was in secondary school, I was one of the biggest girls in my set and because I was coming from a house where I was also bigger than my two sisters when I got to school and people started to call me names it felt like it was true because I mean visitors would come to my house that time and they would say ah ah and then they would say no ah they would say no ah they would be like ah ah I didn't like that right and when I got to my secondary school and then they would also call me names that I do not even want to think about right now. Everything just coupled together and just made me not like that fact about myself. And so many times I would wish that I was smaller. I would wish that I was shorter. I would wish that I was... Why am I bigger than my sisters? Right? Oh, I would ask God, God, why are my feet big? Why do I have so much pimples on my face? Why is this that? And all of these questions or all of these thoughts were popping up just because of what people had said. So it's very important to reevaluate the way you think about yourself and ask yourself why you think that way about yourself. Many times it's important to remember who God has said you are and what God has said about you and read that to yourself or speak that to yourself over and over and over again till they become a reality till you now believe in those words it's very possible that people say oh you are this you are that and then you doubt it totally because you don't believe in that right so it's important to speak these words over yourself speak sweet words to yourself love up on yourself say great words about yourself even if you don't yet believe it that thing is very important so yes maybe i don't yet believe i am beautiful but if i continue to say i am beautiful every single day to myself it'll get to a point where i believe it right so even if you don't believe those words about yourself yet say sweet words about yourself say great words about yourself say who you want to be repeat these words love up for yourself look at yourself in the mirror and say yes if you're Lua, you are beautiful you are wonderfully and i wanted to say fearfully <laughs> oh my god is this
joke that is coming up in my head. But you get the gist. Just hope that with these few points of mine, you have at least learned one or two things or one or two ways in which you can become a better person, love yourself better, and know your worth better as well. So yeah, let me know if this has helped you. Let me know if you have also experienced low self-esteem issues and if you have come out of them let me know how you came out of them right in the comment section give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're here to subscribe and share with everybody you think will need this video thank you for watching guys